good evening once again, football fans. This is Ken Howell along with Donnie Daniels and Brian Lee on camera for WPRG. We're in Maysville, Kentucky at Mason County High School as Mason County gets ready to take on the Prestonsburg Black Cats in state semifinal action. And Donnie Daniels, what a crowd and what an atmosphere. I tell you what, this is what all the weightlifting, all the summer passing league, all the extra time that you put in as a coaching staff boils down to is tonight. Between the lines, Ken, for 48 minutes, it's going to be decided who's going to the carpet. Yeah, and this should be a great matchup. Both of these teams come in here with uh, what are they, 12 and 1 or 13 and 1 records now. And, uh, both uh, teams in at 12 and 1. Uh, only blemish on Prestonburg's record 16 13 loss to Whitley County. Mason County lost by a touchdown to Fleming County last game of the season. Last week they come back and beat the Fleming County Panthers and revenge that loss. And it sets up a matchup tonight. Yeah, what a matchup it should be as uh, Coach John DeRossi and his Black Cats have been on a roll all season. Uh, they just played uh, very consistently week in and week out. And uh, the same with this Mason County team. Uh, Donnie, you were down here last week and saw this Mason County team. Tell us a little bit about them. Well, Ken, they played Fleming County in the uh, regional finals. Good team speed uh, at the tailback, Nathan Myrick, a 5'10", 155-pound junior. Carries most of the road for him for the Mason County Royals here. You know, this is the first time Mason County's been this far. I wonder how, how much jitters that they will have for a very experienced Prestonburg team coming back from last year's regional uh, winner and state semifinalist lost to Bull County and they took something from that and learned from that as tonight we'll see good team speed out of Mason versus a very physical Prestonburg team. Right, and of course this uh, Prestonburg team does have good team speed also. They've got some uh, some speed out there, Matt Sloan and Chris Briggs, uh, Michael Fannin, but a uh, great bunch of athletes, and uh, we're really looking forward to this one. We've also got another mountain team tonight in the uh, state semifinals, the Paintsville Tigers, uh, just up the river here from us in uh, Newport, taking on Newport Catholic Central, and uh, that should be an interesting matchup. Paints are really playing well as of late. Well, as of late, they probably are the best team, the hottest team in the uh, left in the uh, Class A through 4A finalists. And, uh, you know, I, th I told a lot of people this week, I really think Paintsville will come up here and maybe go to the carpet because of when you put Chaz Harmon in the driver's seat, you know, he's a great athlete in the Dusty Hall and the big line that Paintsville has and they're playing much better defense. I think it'll be a great game to watch also. And don't forget out, don't forget the Rock Castle Rockets over there. Absolutely. What a defense that team has. And here's Mason County coming onto the field now, going through the tunnel of fans. Prestonsburg also with a lot of fans out here on the field, building a tunnel. And what an unbelievable crowd here, Donnie, from Prestonsburg. It's quite a ways from, from downtown Prestonsburg, but tremendous following for this football team. Yeah, I tell you what, Prestonsburg is brought uh, just, I, I don't know, there might be 10 people left in the city of Prestonsburg because there's, no, there's not anybody that uh, we don't see. That we, we've been here since 4.30, 5 o'clock. Every time we turn around, we've seen people that we know that's been here, uh, and we've seen people we did. No, and you're talking about a, probably a crowd of the neighborhood of five to six thousand people here tonight. It's a great crowd on both sides of the field, and uh, great atmosphere. And we're just a couple of minutes away from the kickoff here, and both teams fired up and ready to go. The winner will advance on to Louisville, Kentucky next Friday to play on the carpet in the state championship game. And the winner of this game will take on the winner of Bardstown and Glasgow, who will be kicking off in a couple of minutes. Yeah, and I tell you what, both you know, all four teams are very capable of sending, that's in this position now in Double A. Capable of winning the state championship. Uh, a lot of teams have uh, dreaded seeing Bargetown get this far, but uh, you know the winner out of this game is still very much in, alive in this to win a state championship. John DeRoss has done a fantastic job since coming to Prestonburg. He, he's been one of the bright, shining stars in coaching here for the last 10 years. And you know, this is an indication of what his teams will do as you know, two years in a row in the Final Four. 
Absolutely. Great job by Coach DeRossi. He's one fine football coach. Has a, has a great staff helping him now, too, Donnie. Oh, yes. Yeah, much. You know, it's people around you that what makes great coaches. And, uh, you know, he's surrounded himself with a great staff also. You know, I think Preston Bruce going to receive Ken, and I think one of the biggest things that they've got to do is take this opening drive and put points on the board somewhere. They've got to get some kind of points, whether it be a field goal or not. And Mason County will kick it off. Looks like number 51, Andy Fryman, will be kicking the ball for Mason County. And back deep for Prestonsburg, Kevin Jervis, Chris Jervis, and Austin Clark. I'll have them back here around the 10-yard line. Yeah, now we've got to set the scoreboard clock as these teams are out here lined up ready to go and, uh, with over a minute left on the clock before the kickoff. I think y'all, everybody's anxious to get this one started and get it underway. And Fryman ready to kick it. And here comes the kick. It's a short kick taken by Chris Briggs up around the 30. And... He's brought down at the 32-yard line. Last week, he did the same thing. Uh, Prestonburg was aware of that with uh, Spriggs being in the up back. And, uh, yeah, they, they got an excellent field position at the 36-yard line, Ken. It's first and 10 from their own 36 for the Black Cats. Joey Willis, the quarterback, lines up in the shotgun. He's got Matt Sloan to his right, Michael Fanning to the left. There's a handoff to Sloan over the left side, and he's caught immediately and brought down. And he might have even lost a yard on the play. Well, I tell you what, Mason County's got excellent team speed, and Prestonburg's going to have to find something to go right out. And much more than what is going to pop up in Mason County, so look for Coach DeRossi to find something to go right at him. There's the ball back now on the 35-yard line. It's second and 11 for the Black Cats. Willis lines up under center this time. He's got the eye formation behind him with Fannin and Sloan. Jervis goes in motion. And a handoff up the middle to Fannin, and he's drilled as he gets across the 35. Picks up only a yard. It'll be third and 10 now for the Black Cats. Again, Mason County playing, looks like a 44 defense. They're flying around to the football. Look for Coach Grassi with Willis capable of throwing the ball to make a big play downfield for this play action passing game. And he's got the eye formation behind him. Takes the handoff to Sloan, throws out to the left. He's got time, fires it deep, and just behind Austin Clark. And Clark had a couple of steps on his man to throw just behind him, incomplete. Yeah, and it's a good play action pass. And again, you know, Prestonburg known to throw that quite a bit. And uh, well, a good, good pass that time, just could not connect with Clark going down the middle of the field. And Aaron Neely back in punt formation for Prestonsburg. Back deep to receive is Commodore, T. Commodore of Mason County. And a kick goes away from Commodore. Takes a bounce and it's down. Ball down here and give you the yard marker here in a minute as we're, we're set up on down at one end zone and uh, hard to see the yard markers on the far end of the field. Westenberg has to step up defensively right here as they need to shut down Mason County early in the ball game. Mason County first and 10 from their own 25 yard line. Yeah, as they line up in the shotgun. And the quarterback sack already. Grant Brooks in there on the tackle. Tell you what, it, it's, it's going, it might be a 0-0 game when it's all said and done. Christmas <laughs> defense is awful tough. And here's the snap. Rolling to the left, fires it down the left side, incomplete. Intended for Chris Lofton. 
The quarterback is number seven, Dustin. How do you say that? Goose. 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 So it's third down and 15 now for Mason County. They line up in the shotgun once again. Goose in the shotgun. He takes it, rolls out to the left, looking to pass. He fires it, and he's got his man. It's going to be close, Ken, to a first down. Chris Lofton on the reception. Yeah, we'll have to wait and see the official side. Well, it's close enough for a measurement. Tell you what, Mason ran a little inside out. They ran a delay with the outside receiver coming back in, and uh, Hustenberg did a good job defending it. Just you're giving up a lot of yardage there on third and long. Yes, the chains come out. First and ten, Mason County. Tell you what, is, Mason's trying to spread Prestonburg out and use their speed to their advantage here. They, they ran the ball quite considerably more this stage of the game against Fleming last week. They've got two receivers split wide to each side. And here's the snap, and he's in trouble again, and brought down again. It's another sack for the Black Cat defense. Got Chris Briggs in on the tackle there. It's interesting to see how long Mason goes with this no huddle offense. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to run some receivers in and out at Prestonburg. Well, they lost 10 yards on that sack. It's second and 20 now. And a handoff over the left side. And a nice tackle out there. Let's see who. I believe that was Matt nice. Sloan. No, that's John Hunt, number 21. Nice tackle. That's going to still bring up a third and long for Mason County here. There's number 12, Jared Gully on the carry. Third and 15, still a snap over his head. And it's back near the end zone. He's scrambling and brought down. He'll be close. He's close to a safety. It's going to be close. I think Fisher's going to say he's out. He's up to one yard line. And a big break for the Black Cats as that backs Mason County up at near the one yard line. And it'll be fourth and forever for a first down. So they're going to have to punt it out of the back of the end zone. This will be a big chance for Prestonburg to get good field position. Yeah, here's the kick. It's going to take a big Mason County bounce. Nobody back. Mental mistake from Prestonburg that time. And it was inside the Prestonsburg 30. And at the 29. And uh, like you said, buddy, nobody back to uh, receive the punt. And it cost him. Ball probably rolled 25 yards after it hit the ground. Well, it hit it about the midfield stripe, and then it rolled 20 yards down to the 30. So, uh, you know, Prestonburg needed that field position. Plus, they, Mason County had kept everybody in, and it would have been a good punt to return. Prestonburg, first and 10 from their own 29 yard line. Willis comes out in the shotgun. Sloan to his right, Fannin to his left. Here's the snap. Hand off to Fannin over the right side. He slips and keeps going. Looks like he's out near the 35. Let's see where they spot it. Looks like a good gain of about three yards for the fan. Gets out to the 33, a four-yard pickup. So second and six black cats. 7.30 to go here in the first quarter. No score. As Willis comes out under center this time. I formation behind him. Takes the snap. Gives it to Sloan. Sloan tries to bring it out to the left and nowhere to go. He just didn't have nothing. He didn't have anything there, Ken. Not at all. So Preston's been now looking at a third and eight as he lost two yards back to the 31-yard line. 
again, team speed is in favor of Mason County tonight. Willis under center, now for Mason behind him. Austin Clark stood out wide to the left. Here's a reverse to Chris Briggs around the left side. He gets a block. He's across the 40, the 50, and brought down in Mason County territory. Good job, good play call from the coaching staff. Yeah, they all expecting Sloan or Fanning to get the ball and Spriggs. We saw that last year as he come right through a uh, nice block by his right guard and uh, a good, good 20 yard gain from Spriggs, Ken. As the ball spotted at the Mason County 44 yard line, first and 10 Black Cats. Willis in the shotgun. He takes the snap, rolls out to the left. He's looking downfield. Now he cuts back to the middle. He's going to run with it up the middle. He's got some room. And nice pickup by Joey Willis. Joey Willis, that's one thing that, you know, they, they haven't seen a lot is Joey Willis have to scramble. He can because he's, got, he's such a good athlete. And, uh, you know, he, he never has had to during the season. So, you know, that might be a plus in the Black Cats' favor down the line here. Good job by Willis on that carry as he picks up eight yards or nine yards on the carry. It's second and one now for the Black Cats. This be a good time to run Sloan on the isolation and let Phantom be a good blocker for him. Sloan goes in motion. Phantom takes it over the right side. He breaks a couple of tackles and should have a first down for the Black Cats. Pure speed, and pure strength from Lannon. He, uh, he got hit at the line of scrimmage, bounced outside, and uh, picked up a nice game for the first down. Pestenberg looking good here on the second offensive series. Yes, they are. As he gets inside the 30 to the Mason County 29 yard line, it's first and 10 for the Black Cats from the 29. Willis under center this time, takes the snap. This is to Sloan over the left side. He's got room. He breaks it to the outside, down the sideline, and he's gone. Touchdown, Prestonsburg. Uh, got a penalty, uh, got, got, got a flag. And they're calling home, and they're going to bring it back. That's a tough call, because Sloan had the corner made I think his outside receiver maybe got his hands inside outside the framework, but uh, you know, calls like that can happen every play. Fisher should put it in her pocket and let the kids decide on the field. Absolutely. When the kid, I mean, he already had, had the play made. He was gone. He was already past the, the infraction, so it wasn't going to make any difference in the play. So. You know, fly throw the flag. And that backs the ball all the way back to the 37-yard line. It'll be first and 18 now for Prestonsburg. As Willis comes out in the shotgun, he's got Clark split wide to the left. Takes a low snap. Looking for Clark. Now he fires it deep down the left side for Clark. And was it picked off? Let's see what the signal is. Looked like it was intercepted. And it was. Great play. I thought Clark was gonna, gonna get the catch. And at the last minute, here came the defensive back across the field. Intercepted. Looks like it Preston Burke still got Mason County pinned down at the one yard line. Be a good time for Coach DeRossi and his defense to step up here and get a safety for them and put the Black Cats on the board on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, not very possible with this strong defensive front that Prestonsburg has. First and 10 from the one yard line, Mason County. Long snap count, and it's a quarterback keeper. And he gets a a little bit of yardage, not much. So he might have picked up one just to get out to the two-yard line. They hit about one off the play. It'll be second and nine. One-yard pickup. Get out of there, Donna. It's at the far end of the field. Second and nine now for Mason County. The Mason County Royals. That's Dustin Gutsa, the quarterback. He's under center. Long count once again. And here's a handoff up the middle and 
That's out across the five. Went to right on the spot. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. That's the first time Myrick has touched the ball. And, you know, he's, he carried the ball 28 times last week along with Swimming County. So much different game plan tonight for Mason County to this point. It's third down and four to go. From the seven yard line. Good sir, in the shotgun. You know, he takes the snap, hands it off over the left side, and that's nothing there. And Mason County, once again, will be forced to punt out in their own end zone. And this time, Prestonburg, I know Spriggs is already coming back, so they're going to be able to take over at, in, in their territory. Hopefully, Spriggs get a big return. A little bit of wind behind, a little bit of wind behind the punter from Mason County here. Yeah, I thought saw step. some movement. Yeah, he gets a kick away. It's a low kick taken right at midfield. And Spriggs makes a nice move, still on his feet. And a big game for Spriggs. Got penalty flag on the field. I think there was movement and holding. That's a safety. A hold in the end zone is a safety. It is on the pass, so it'd be a, I think on the punt, maybe it's not, but I know on the and pass, it's a pass and play, it is. So Festenberg's going to start out in great field position, Ken, on the 20-yard line. They need two good offensive series here to go ahead early in this ball game. Yeah, and a great return by Chris Briggs. So he took it about 30 yards. Took a couple of hard hits and stayed on his feet. As here's a handoff to Sloan, and Sloan slips down just as he takes the handoff. No gain on the play. He saw, I think he saw opening back inside, and he just could not get there to it. It'll be second and ten now for Preston's move from the Mason County 20 yard line. We're down there at 2:25 to go here in the first quarter. No score. Preston's made in great field position. And this is for down territory for Prestonburg also. Willis under center. And here's the handoff to Spriggs again around the left side. He leaps over a good lead tackle and gets across the 15. And good running by Chris Spriggs. Yes, he's brought down at the 17 yard line. You know, the thing Mason County's doing, they're flying. As soon as any kind of action, play action goes to Sloan or Fannin, they're coming. So they're Christenberg to be able to catch Mason County in some kind of counter here late in the second quarter. Third and seven. Willis in the shotgun. All wide open. And Fannin cuts it back over the right side. It's going to be close. It'll be fourth down though still. Looks like it'll be about fourth in the round three. And we're right on once again, Bonnie. Fourth and three from the 13. Pressburg right here probably they need to take a time. This touch cross it is gonna take a timeout. Time out with one minute to go in the first quarter. We have no score. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Okay. 
And welcome back to Mason County High School. It's one minute to go in the first quarter, no score. Prestonsburg with a fourth down and three from the Mason County 13. Joey Willis under center, I four Mason behind him. He takes the snap, fakes it to Matt Sloan, rolls out to the left, looks in the end zone, and I believe another one intercepted. Yes, it was. He's intercepted in the end zone again. Look how he had Spriggs open quick, just could not get him the ball. And Mason County with two interceptions in the end zone here in this first quarter. We got this back break for, uh, for Prestonburg as they, he's down there knocking on their door twice and have come up empty, Ken. And 53 seconds is all that remains here in the first quarter. Mason County first and 10 from their own 20. Good so under center. And here's a handoff over the right side. And good out of bounds. Who was that? Matt Sloan. Matt Sloan. Matt Sloan hit him from about the numbers and brought down out and knocked him out of bounds. That was Nathan Myrick on the carry. And boy, did he take a hit from Matt Sloan. He, <laughs> he came from nowhere and hit him and knocked him from the numbers, which is about eight yards on the field to the sideline. Three yeah. receivers to the to the right. Yes, Myrick had to pick up a four yards on the play. Second and six. Boots under center. He throws it out on the right side and driven out of bounds. That was Myrick again. They're trying to get the ball in Myrick's hands this series. He he didn't touch the ball the first two series that Mason County had, and he's probably the best athlete that the Royals have on the field. As they picked up four on the play, it'll bring up a big third down and two from their own 28 for Mason County. Dustin Grutza under center. Long stab count, and he takes it. I don't think he got it. It looks like nothing there. That might be the last play of the first quarter. It's going to still bring up fourth and two for Mason County. And I don't know if they brought in the punting unit or not. We don't have to run another play in this quarter. We're down now to 12 seconds. I don't think he will. I think Coach Buchanan, he's already trotting down to the side here, so I think they're going to just let it run out. They feel like they can shorten the game against Prestonburg, they'll be better off. So there you have it, the end of the first quarter, your score, Prestonsburg, nothing. Mason County, nothing. We'll be right back on the Intermountain Sports Network. Back to school time is here, and that means it's time to save with Gearheart's back to school promotions. For a limited time, get super fast broadband internet starting at only $39.99 per month. Let us help you find the perfect internet package to suit your family's needs and get school started right. Streaming, surfing, gaming, and more. We have you covered. Find out more at imctv.com or give us a call at 606 478 9406 to get started. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're going to enjoy every minute of it. You two, come in and work. Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us now. You got to decide for yourself who you're going to be. The Bellator K has landed. High school. We've completed one quarter. There's no score. Mason County facing a fourth and two from the on 28. It looks like they're going for it. Long count right here. Watch a long count. They're going to take it away a game, I believe. All right, there it was. And somebody jumped. I don't, I'm not sure if he was thrown off or not. Looks like Matt Williams. And it is offside Preston's ball. First down for the So they move it out to the 33-yard line. First and 10, Mason County. 
And a big mistake by the Blackcats. Yeah, because Mason County was not going to punt, was not going to run that play. They was going to take a timeout or take a delay of game. Boots are under center, first and ten. Commodore goes in motion. Hatcher rolls out to the left. He's got a lot of pressure on him. He fires it down the sideline, out of bounds, incomplete. Yes. Matt Sloan loves Boots as he releases the ball. Boots is just a sophomore, and you know, if you can get pressure on him early, he's a good athlete and, got a, and has a good arm. But uh, the thing about it is if you keep putting him on his back a few times here and there, that sophomore's going to turn into a little bit of a freshman. <laughs> and he'll make some underwise his decisions. Prestonburg maybe get him a pick here in the second quarter. Second and 10, Mason County. Great to in the shotgun this time. And the back took off early. Boots are back. He's got a lot of pressure on him. He's getting away. Good job. And he's out across the 30, 35 yard line. But we have movement in the backfield. This is going to come back. Full back for Mason County. Number 42 that was starting forward before. Looks like he's trying to set a screen pass up. Matt Gilbert, 6'1, 190 pound senior. Started his route just a little bit too early. Thought he maybe was up north of the border here. I know we're up here in northern Kentucky, but it's still they have to stay set there until the ball snapped for at least one second. And Gates has showed good movement on that to avoid the rush. He had several black cats chasing him. Yeah, he, he, he's a good athlete, like I said. He's just a... Uh, Really has a tough time maybe uh, trying to find people because he's having people from Prestonburg in his face the whole time. Second and 15. Boots are under center. High formation behind him. He hands it off over the right side and not much there. And we're going to have a flag for a hit out of bounds. I don't know about that one. Myrick on the carry. That was close. I mean, we got bad angle here, and the officials are right down there on the field, but that's a, that's a tough one to call. Yeah, as the officials discussing it over there. Yeah, they mark it off. That's two yards. That gives Mason County the best field position that they've had tonight as they are now going, they are now just about to go into Black Cat territory. As they'll have it first and ten from their own 46-yard line. Great say in the shotgun this time. He's got Gilbert back with him. He rolls out to the left, and he's in trouble again. He's going down. Back around the 40 yard line, loss of six on the play. It'll be second and 16 now for Mason County. And I'll tell you, this Black Cat defensive front really getting a lot of pressure on Brooks. Brooks is not letting, he is not letting him break. Once he breaks containment, Brooks is being our step sitting and waiting for him. And, uh, you know, Christenberg's trying to keep him from rolling and getting the angle on the, on the uh, hash mark here. Second and 16, Brooks in the shotgun. He takes the snap, hands it off to the fullback up the middle, and a nice tackle. Tony White on the tackle. It looked like he was going to go for some yardage. They had a nice hole up the middle, and White got him around the ankles and brought him down. So he gets back to the 45-yard line. That'll leave Mason County with a third and 11. You know, 10 minutes, 22 seconds, go for a half. Uh, nobody has really established any kind of offense here. Tonight, Dustin Grootsa in the shotgun. Comes a blitz, and he fires it on, out on the rock. Oh, God. Matt Sloan on the head after the reception.
think they have. I think that, that flag's been laying there since that out of bounds hit, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Here's a kind of a funny formation Mason County right, has. Right. This is the way they pump the ball, isn't it? And they're going in tight. Still, number seven, M with a, he's a quarterback. Brian Sweet back to punt it. Yeah, it's a short punt, low. Take a Hestenberg bounce. They should have a pretty good field position. They're going to be somewhere around the 10, around the 20 yard line. So big long drive here, Ken, to end it for the half, for the Black Cats. Yeah, that would be good. That'd be fine. 953 to go here in the half. Have about a nine minute, 81 yard drive and put it in the end zone. As the ball looks like spotted on the 19, first and 10, Preston's bad. Pittsburgh needs to get some kind of running game established here. They, they haven't had much of a running game with Sloan or Fannin. But if I, I think as the game wires on, the big offensive line will take its, its prayer, make its presence known. And there's a good hole that time that oh, Sloan will go to the Yeah, Matt Sloan up across the 20, out to the near the 25, I believe. Lee and Derek Gilbert on the tackle. Actually, the 23. Pick up a four on the play. Should be second and six. As Willis comes up under center. And here's the pitch to Fannin going over the right side. And still going on his feet as he is a hard, hard young man to bring down. You know, he's got a lot of strength in his lower body. He's going to pick up about two or three on that, so it's going to bring up third and about five still for the Black Cats. It's three yards out to the 26. Third down and a long three, I believe it is. Pittsburgh needs one of those types of plays right here that can get about 10 or 15 yards to get them out of this hole back here. Willis takes a snap, and he's back in. Willis falls down. Big loss for the Black Cats, and they'll have to punt it away. Well, we can see Neely here. He's, he's going to have his back to his own end zone, and he's going to have to get a good kick out for the Black Cats here. Commodore back to receive for Mason County. And he's got some wheels too, Ken. Really takes it. A good nice high kick. kick. Nice kick. But it takes a Mason County roll. And let's see where they're going to spot it. Westensburg 46 yard line, so great field position for Mason County. Yeah, this is going to be the first time they started to drive in Prestonburg territory tonight. So, Matrick is, is not, Myrick has not got the ball much, so look for him maybe to touch it a lot here in this drive. Groups are under center. Hands it off to Myrick over the right side, and he's brought down. Did good much. Pick up his two on the play, down to the 44. It'll be second and eight now for Mason County. Seven and a half minutes to go in the first half. We have no score. Groot's in the shotgun this time. And he takes it, rolls out to the left. Now tries to run back to the right side with it. Gets a nice block and a nice pickup by Gritza. Yeah, let's see, did he get the first down, Donnie? Thanks gonna bring up third and short. Third and one. Third and one. 
they're going to bring over the sticks and see. But I believe from my right. angle, just looking, I he's going to be short, Ken. Tell you what, Prestonburg definitely needs a big hole. They, they need to stop them on this series right here. It's watching Mason County's field goal kick before the game. He's good it's from somewhere around the 30 yard line. So if they get another first down, then they're going to be in field goal range. And here's the measurement, and it is short. So it'll be that third and short, third and less than a yard for Mason County. Clock stopped at 6.49 for the measurement. 6.49 to go in the first half. No score here with Prestonsburg and Mason County. Dustin Groats under center. Tell you what, this is, they like run quarterback sneak a lot in this situation. Receiver goes in motion. And Groots takes it over the left side and he's got it. Picked up a couple of yards probably on the carry. Six thirty-seven go for halftime. Mason County deepest they've ever been in Prestonburg territory right now, showing the real life in the offenses on the offensive side of the ball here. And Mason County first and ten from the Prestonburg 34-yard line. Goats are under center. Myrick now goes in motion out of the backfield. And a handoff up the middle to the fullback. He's got all kinds of room. And a big game. Down inside the 20. Matt Gilbert. It's down to the 15 yard line. A 19 yard pickup. First and 10, Mason County. Mason County ran Myrick out on motion that time. Pressburg just, just did not get to the fullback trap. Is that time Mason County's right guard did an excellent job trapping the defensive guard from Prestonburg. Goats under center. And he takes it. Has it off to Myrick over the left side. He's still on his feet. Another yeah. nice game for Mason County. It's going, to be, uh, it, it's going to be second down, but they're inside of the 10. And the play, and second and this is a very critical stage for Prestonburg. Mason County starting to get a little momentum here at the home field. Yes, it's second and two now for Mason County. Yes, eight yard line. Goats under center. Long snap count. And he hands it off to Gilbert. Not much there. I don't think he got anything. He might got if he got anything, he got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, as they give him a pick up at one on the play, it'll bring up third and one now. Good good time for Chris to have a good run stand, Kim. Yes it would. We saw him do it last week against Belfry. Early in the second half on a big drive. Right at this same position in the field. And here's a handoff over the left side to Myrick. And right on the ball, got the ball carrier on the ball. Who's going to get the first down? Yes, Briggs, right the high ball. And he did get the first down. It's first and goal, Mason County, from the five yard line. So Prestonburg needs to come up four downs here, and they're going to have to stop a good Mason County team from going five yards. 4-10 to go here in the first half. Great to under center. Long snap count. And he gives it to Myrick over the left side. He's drilled, but stays on his feet. See, one thing.
thing that they've got to do, good look in there by Spriggs, but he has got to wrap him up because Myrick is one of those kind of kinds of backs that he's not going to go down as soon as he's hit. He's got the hips and he's going. So, uh, instead of having it second and go at five, he spins and gets three, two yards, and now they got it on the three. And it's second and goal from the three. Boots are under center. Long snap count once again. Gives it to Gilbert over the left side. And he doesn't get in. Gilbert on the call. He's down near the one, I believe. Ball spotted on the one. It's third and goal now from the one. And the first half winding down, three minutes to go. No score as of yet. Mason County one yard away from getting on the board. Works are under center. And he takes it, tries to go over the left side himself, and I don't believe he got it. Good back keeper didn't work. And that's going to bring up the fourth and goal from the one yard line for Mason County. Be an interesting call right here. Prestonburg selling out as soon as the ball snapped. They've got, they've got 11 people going straight inside or in between guard and tackle gaps, center gaps. And anything to the outside with the speed Mason County's got could be trouble for the Black Cats. But I believe that's, I don't think I'd, if I gave one up, it'd be to the outside. And here we go. Boots are under center. Fourth and goal from the one. He hands it off to Myrick over the left side. He's spinning and he gets in. As Mason County goes up six to nothing. Nathan Myrick. Like you said, Donnie, he doesn't go down with the first hit. He, uh, he got hit early there, but uh, kept, kept spinning and moving, moving those legs, and he got in. Yeah, he got in, you know, because that they didn't wrap him up and drive their feet back. Pestenberg had him, I thought they had him stop, but again, yeah, bad snap. Bad snap, and he's brought down. So the conversion, no good. One minute, 54 seconds to go in the first half. Mason County leads it, six to nothing. There's no sense panicking if you're Prestonburg here. You know what? Right. You got you got another half. And Prestonburg, like I said, predominantly is a second half ball team. You know, we've seen that the last couple of weeks. But Prestonburg has uh, had success more in the second half when they wire teams down. And I think the same thing's going to happen here tonight. Right, we saw them two weeks ago against a strong Leslie County team go in at halftime. Prestonburg leading six to nothing. The Black Cats come out and put 27 points on the board in the third quarter. Ended up winning the game 33 to nothing. Same thing last week. Uh, tied with Belfort at 14 to, to right before the half. And Prestonburg put a score on the board and they go on to win in the second half 34 to 14. So uh, no, no use to panic at this point, like you said. No, I don't think so either. I think it's uh, one of those situations where, you know, you got to, you're down six to nothing. You still got plenty enough time to, you know, do what you want to do. Now, no sense getting excited and giving Mason County another score to go in down 12 or 13 to nothing, Ken. And Billy Van Hook kicking off this time. And he kicks it toward the sideline, short. And the Black Cats take it. Should have good field position. Is I believe that was right, number 33. 33. Let's see 33 on the roster. I think that, that's Matt Setzer, I believe. So, Prestonsburg first and 10 from their own 37. One minute, 48 seconds to go. Willis takes it, gives it to Sloan, trying to get to the outside, around the outside, and he's pulled down out there by Commodore. 
Commodore brings him down. Good job by Matt that time bouncing it to the outside. Didn't have a whole lot up the middle. Took it to the outside. And you wait for the Knights over. He's going to break one of those yet. He already had one broken. They had a holding call. call, call back. It back. He so picked up eight yards on that carry. Let's see if Matt Sloan tonight don't break one here. Second and two. Willis in the shotgun. And he gives it to Sloan going over the left side this time. Tries to cut it back. Slips. There's bound to be some slippery spots out there in the middle of that field. I mean, we've seen several players slip down tonight. Yeah, you just they, they, they plant, they're playing to make the cut, and then they just feed their going out from under them. Now have to go in at halftime and change some cleats. Third down and three now. Dallas under center. He pitches it back to Sloan, and Sloan fires it deep down the right side for Jarvis, and incomplete. Good idea. Mason County expected oh, Sloan to run, just could not. Just Sloan could not get it to Jarvis as Jarvis was way out in front of the defender from Mason County that time. Starts the clock with 34 seconds to go. Presses Bird forced to punt it away. As Neely back. He gets a good snap. He gets it away. A nice high kick. And it's it hits at the six. And in the end zone, touchback. So Mason County will have it first and ten for their own 40 yard line with only 25 seconds remaining. And the ball up the road, 40 yard line. Mason County leading six to nothing over Prestonsburg. 25 seconds remaining in the first half. This is one of those situations that if, if Mason don't take a knee here and they try something, you just don't, you keep the uh, passer, passer uh, or the uh, runner in front of you and uh, make sure that you make the tackle here and don't give up anything big. So I just look for Mason County maybe take a knee or try something, you know, just get down, take that into halftime. Because they, I'd say Coach Buchanan's pretty happy going in ahead of Prestonburg, six to nothing here. And Grosser takes it, backs up, takes a knee. And that, that'll do it. And only 20 seconds to go. We don't have to run another play. So they're headed off the field. That's the end of the first half with the score. Mason County 6, Prestonsburg nothing. We'll kick it back to the station for a few minutes and be back with uh, some first half comments and second half action here on the Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Now's your chance for a great deal on smoke and fast internet from Gearhart Broadband. Upgrade to the smoldering speed you need, up to one gig, and add Plume Adaptive Wi-Fi to reach every corner of your home. Experience no lag gaming, your favorite music, web surfing, HD video streaming, and connect to the latest smart devices. If you're ready for an upgrade, call or click Gearhart Broadband for a great offer today. More than ever, life is full of change. And sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more.
Back to School time is here, and that means it's time to save with Gearheart's Back to School promotions. For a limited time, get super fast broadband internet starting at only $39.99 per month. Let us help you find the perfect internet package to suit your family's needs and get school started right. Streaming, surfing, gaming, and more. We have you covered. Find out more at imctv.com or give us a call at 606-478-9406 to get started. Remember, better broadband means better lives. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're going to enjoy every minute of it. You two, come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us, Tom. You got to decide for yourself who you're going to be. The Bellator K has landed. Not everyone gets this excited when they discover the joy of Gearheart TV. But it happens. It's kind of a thrill to see every channel in HD. Go back in time with Replay and Restart TV. Record to the cloud. And watch TV everywhere on any device. With no set-top box. Your excitement may vary, but there's a lot to cheer about Gearheart TV. Available now. Visit MyGTV.com now to sign up. And welcome back to Mason County High School. This is Ken Hall along with Donnie Daniels and Brian Lee. It's halftime. Mason County leading Prestonsburg 6 to nothing, And uh, a hard fought first half, Donnie. A lot yeah. of defense. Yeah, a lot of defense. Prestonburg missing two good opportunities. Ken put some points on the board uh, right in the first quarter. And, uh, you know, those opportunities are not going to come very often in this type of game. So Prestonburg's... Hopefully we can come back this second half, make adjustments if they needed to, and uh, put the ball in the end zone because they were down six. And you know, I told you coming down, if it's tied up in fourth quarter, if Preston Burst down the touchdown, Preston Burst going to go to the carpet. <laughs> All right. Let's hope you're right. And uh, as, as we talked earlier, that just before the half, uh, Preston Burst has been extremely strong in the second half all year. And uh, hopefully that will happen again tonight as the Black Cats will be kicking off here to start the second half. Aaron Neely will do the kicking. Watch for Mace County. They run a middle return last week with uh, the fullback number 42 for them back deep. And uh, you know, him and Jones both, Jones a freshman, very good at hitting a crease, so Prestonburg has to cover the range real good here. As the fullback Matt Gilbert back, back deep, as is B.J. Commodore. And Neely kicks it out to squib kick up the middle. Takes a big bounce over the head of Gilbert, and he's going to have to fall on it, so a good job by Aaron Neely. That's the one thing Pressburg needed to happen. Good job by Neely getting the ball through there and uh, getting the, found the opening in the front line, and that's going to put Mason County back deep in their own territory at the 13 to start out the second half. So good job by Aaron Neely on the Black Cats, heading them back to the 13. It's been a good time for the Prestonburg defense. They've been good all year to have turnovers, to be on the plus side of turnovers. And this will be a good chance for them to make their first turnover of the night against Mason County. As Groza under center. He takes it. And handoff up the middle. Five knots there. And we've got a light flag coming in. Oh, they come from the back, Judge, and uh, didn't see what happened there, but uh, Wrong way, a personal foul against Prestonsburg. Personal foul, 
That hurts because now Mason County comes out of the shadows of their own goal line. Prestonburg's got to remember that, you know, these types of penalties, even though they might intimidate, still is going to hurt them in the long run. Right. And moves the ball out to the 29-yard line now. First and 10, Mason County as the penalty gets them out of the hole. Goats under center. And he fires it out here. Right it's it's off. And it's a touchdown, Prestonsburg. Number 41, Andrew Howe picks it off. And now another flag, more flags flying. But after the play, it looks like we've got Mason County for a late hit on Chris Briggs here. And Spriggs down on the ground, gets up. And yeah, you called it, Donnie. It'd be a good time for a turnover, and which Preston's Burks created a lot of those this year. Andrew Howe, a big interception, runs it in. And we're all tied up, 6-6. Six, six. That's going to put the ball on the one and a half yard line for Prestonburg now. So that brings up an interesting call for Costa Rossett. Does he go for two here or does he go for the one with Neely kicking? Yeah. Looks like they're going to go for two. Well, with Sloan and uh, with Sloan and Fannin in the backfield, this is a good call, I believe, because Christenberg has very seldom this year been stopped in short yardage situations. Yeah, as Willis comes up under center. He's got Fannin and Sloan in the I formation. Pitches it to Sloan going to the outside. He's going to have to turn it on, and he does. He's in. Matt Sloan in for two points. And the Black Cats go up eight to six as we've only played 33 seconds here in the second half. And uh, making it sound like Wizards here, Donnie. We said they're a second half team, and uh, 33 seconds into it, there's eight points on the board to take the lead. Well, that's the one thing Prestonburg had to come out second half and do. They had to take the momentum from Mason County as Mason County has uh, had gained the momentum through the second quarter. Now, Prestonburg has come out and taken that a momentum away from them. Now that they can sustain that, Ken, Prestonburg will be able to go to the carpet, and I think they're going to get stronger as the game goes along here in the second half. Absolutely. Great momentum shift there. Andrew Howell, a big interception, returning at 30 plus yards for a touchdown. Now, one thing Pressburg can't do is get too happy about this and think this game is over and two points is going to win this for because Mason County has enough offensive power to come back and score on them. Yes, they do. As Neely gets ready to kick it again. And he does the squib kick again up the middle. Takes a good bounce. Picked up by Commodore this time, I believe. Yeah. And across the 20. I'll tell you what, Christenberg is, is doing a fine job here, is getting the, the right people in the zone, in the uh, lanes down on the kickoff. Both times, Mason County has not handled the kickoff from Christenberg uh, very good at all. Yeah, it's first and 10 from their own 29 yard line. The last play that ran from scrimmage was first and 10 from the 29, and the interception picked off, ran back for the touchdown. Boots under center, hands it off over the left side, and nothing there, a big scramble. I don't know if the ball came loose or not, but great pursuit by the Black Cat defense. Looks like Brant Brooks in on the tackle. Matt Sloan coming in, too, with a big shot. They've moved him from the defensive secondary up to the linebacker position this half. Notice that right off the bat. And uh, you know, until Mason County spreads Prestonburg out, look for Sloan maybe to stay in that position. There's a loss of three on that carry. It's second and 13 now, Mason County. Boots in the shotgun this time. Takes the snap. Throws it out in the left. And trying to get to the outside. That's Myrick, and he's down the sideline, and he's gone. Marked out marked down bounds up here. Fisher's waving his arms. But he did go out of bounds. Fisher's waving his arms back at about the 30-yard line. Back here, if he's marked, he's marked him out of bounds. 
And I kept waiting to see if the fit side judge over here to see if he had marked him out of bounds. And uh, I couldn't, I never could pick him up in that sea of blue over there. But then I, after I got to him, I picked him up and uh, first off, good play from Mace County, but uh, not as big as they thought it was going to be. Yeah, absolutely. It was Nathan Meyer, great speed once he got to the outside. And as the ball spotted on the 40-yard line, pick up uh, 14 on the play. And that's what they got on the scoreboard, I don't know. Well, that is at the 40. 14 yard pickup, first and 10 now, Mason County from their own 40. Groot's in the shot there in the, under the center. And, and fumble, off. fumble, fumble. Christian Burke got it. Close and the Blackheads. Matt Sloan comes up with the football. Just as we had talked about coming in the second half, Prestonburg has always been on top of the turnover, turnover ratio, and the first two possessions by Mason County has resulted in turnovers. So Prestonburg takes over in Mason County territory with 10-14 to go here in the third quarter. The Black Cats of Prestonburg leading it 8-6. Right now, Ken, Prestonburg needs to take this ball and just ram it straight down Mason County's throat. Willis under center, eye formation behind him. Gives it off to Sloan, up the middle, big hole. Sloan still on his feet. Yeah, big game for Matt Sloan. Tell you what, this is Prestonburg's game. Second half, they wear you down. Big, strong ball club that they have. Physical ball club that they have. And they have taken, the, taken it to Mason County here in the first two minutes. And Mason County takes a timeout. So with 10 minutes and one second to go in the third quarter, your score, Prestonsburg 8, Mason County 6 on the Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. First and 10 from the Mason 22, and a whistle stops the play. Hand off to Michael Fannin, the movement before the snap. Illegal procedure against Prestonsburg. Yes, Matt Sloan picked up 15 yards on that previous carry. Right up the middle. Looks like maybe the center had jerked the ball, what the umpire was saying. Got to back it up to the 27. It'll be first and 15 now for the Black Cats. Still a center center. Still a little raindrop coming here. Willis rolling out to the left. He's hit. Stays on his feet and finally taken down. Bring up a second down at 23. Prestonburg's going backwards instead of forward. The ball all the way back at the 35 yard line. Second and 23. Spriggs on the end of round has been a good play for him in long yardage situations. Let's see if Coach Drossett comes back to that here. Yeah, as well as in the shotgun. Phantom and Sloan in the backfield with him. Austin Park goes in motion, low snap. Willis finally picks it up and throws it deep down the right side. It's deflected by a Commodore. Willis has it up by a Commodore. Intended out there for Spriggs. Chris Spriggs. 
That stops the clock with 9.02 to go in the third quarter. Eight to six, Prestonsburg, and they're facing a third and 23 now from the Mason County 35-yard line. It's been a good place for a draw with Sloan out of the high formation. Maybe John can give him the ball and find a crease as Mason County usually gets in a nickel package right here. Willis in the shotgun. And once again, and play stop. Procedure once again against Prestonsburg, backing up five more yards, back to the 40. And Prestonsburg has to get to the 12 for a first down, so it's third and 28. I think maybe Coach Jarosz would be happy just to pick up some of this and maybe pin Mason County back in against the goal line the way his defense has come out and played here in the second half. Willis comes out in the shotgun. And in the long setback. Here's another low snap. Willis comes up with it. And looking down the left side, going for Matt Sloan in the end zone. And it's picked off. That's as good as a punt, Ken. Yes, you know, it you, is. You throw it down there, and it's, you know, Willis, I'm sure, has been told, you know, throw it down, and the field if Matt Sloan cannot catch it, he'll, he'll be in position to make sure that the man will be tackled. And, you know, he's oh, pinned it on the foul. Like the that, that's, uh, like you said, that's as good, as, if not better, than a punt. The old coaches used to quick kick on that down. So, you know, that's, that's similar to what they did. And, uh, you know, Coach Ross, is, I'm sure, one points on the board, but he'll be happy to have it. We saw, we saw, fire. We saw Jerry Lorenzen quick kick last week against Tennessee in a pos position like that. First and 10 from their own five. Boots are under center. And a handoff over the left side. I'll tell you what, that yeah. looks like close to a safety. Chris Briggs calling for a safety. I can tackle in the Royal backfield. Mason County going backwards too. And it's not because of penalties either. <laughs> yeah, he lost three yards back to the two yard line, so it's second and 13. And boy, I tell you, this both defenses really came out here aggressive in this second half. Boots under center. Long snap count. Hands it off again over the left side and some positive yardage this time, not a whole lot. The biggest thing Pressburg wants to do, it's going to be third and long. And then and and the Mason County's deep in their own territory. They don't want to do something stupid here, like an offsides or a personal foul, and give Mason County a first down. Make them take what they can get, keep, not give them a first down, and make them punt the ball out of their own end zone. And Gutsa comes out under center. It's third and nine from the six-yard line. He's got Commodore in the backfield, a long snap count. And he's back. Now hands it off on the draw play, and nothing there. Brent right Brooks in on the tackle. And he did just what they did, just what they needed to do in that situation. They made sure that they didn't give Mace County the first down. And now Mace County has to punt out of their own end zone. So that Chris Briggs should get a good return off of this as Mace County will have to stay in to make sure that they don't get the block. Spurks out around the Mason County 45. And blocked it. Blocked. The ball loose. And who touchdown. Touchdown safety. Safety. Safety as Mason County recovers it. Safety for Prestonsburg and the Black Cats go up 10 to 6. Look like number 30 come off the left corner for Prestonsburg that time and it was unblocked. And Tony White comes up with a big, big play for Prestonburg. Now, Prestonburg takes this drive and puts it in the end zone and we're going to be all right. Royal will pick the ball after the safety. And about a third 
quarter to this point for Prestonsburg. We, we played five minutes and six seconds. The Black Cats have put 10 points on the board, a touchdown, a two-point conversion, and now a safety. And they kept Mason County back up deep in their own territory. Mason County will kick it now from the 20 after the safety. Andy Cryman will do the kicking this time. That very well could have been a touchdown too, Donnie. That ball rolling around on the ground there in the end zone. Well, Barry, uh, um, the quarterback did a fine job getting it and uh, yeah. well, went out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds. Shoot. Yeah. John Hunt tried to catch the ball, not able to bring it in. It goes out of bounds. But Still a good place to start a drive with the Mason County 45-yard line. Yeah, once again, I tell you what, this is where it becomes Michael Fannin time and Matt Sloan time here. We just, I mean, Mason County, the last drive did not stop the running game Prestonburg. They stopped themselves, so watch for them this time to come out and try to just run it down their throat. Willis under center. Gives it to Sloan. He tries to break it out to the right side, and nothing there. Good pursuit by the Mason County defense. Sloan trying to bounce something, trying to make something. There wasn't much there. I think if he just stay north-south and, and stick his nose up in there, that he'll have more success because there's just too much team speed out there from Mason County. He's got the speed to break it, but the overall, there's just so many blue shirts that goes flying to the football. Yeah, Sloan, only one yard on the carry. It's second and nine, Prestonsburg. Willis under center. And gives it to the first man. He's still up. He's still up. And still fighting. He's still up. And the, the referee gets buried. He's still up. He's still, He's still up. And who is that? Superman on the keg? I don't know, but the referee took a hard lick here. My, my. That was Fannin. He just was not going down. He carried ball carriers. He, caught, he carried defenders for a good 20 yards. And the referee got right in the middle of it and could not get, he could not get any kind of, uh, he couldn't get out of the way. Uh, you know, he just got caught in the middle of all that mess. But uh, what a run by Michael Fannin. Fannin just, my God, took him off. Took, took him and went uh, straight down the field. It's the ball down there at the 27-yard line of Mason County, and the official is down. We're going to take a break here. We've got 5.59 to go in the third quarter. Prestonsburg leading Mason County 10-6 on the Intermountain Sports Network. Life is full of change, and sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. Welcome back to Maysville, Kentucky. Mason County High School with state semifinal action and the Prestonsburg Blackcats leading Mason County 10-6 to with 5.59 to go in the third quarter. And we just saw one tremendous run as Michael Fannin picked up 17 yards and had three or four tackles on his back and up the, the entire ride, Donnie Daniels. Yeah, he just, uh, uh, how many how many blue shirts had a hold of him that could not bring him down? He just unbelievable. Unbelievable. So first and 10, Prestonsburg from the Mason 27-yard line. Joey Willis under center. And gives it off to Sloan this time, trying to break it out to the right side. 
He's breaking tackles down the sideline and a big game for Matt Sloan. Oh, okay. Just Pittsburgh started to show their strength. This is where that the weight room starts coming into play for Prestonburg right here as they have the Sloan and Phantom both have been hit at the line of scrimmage the last two runs and have gains of over 10 yards plus. So you know, this is where the weight room comes into play, Ken. Yeah, Sloan picked up 14 yards on that carry. It's first and 10 now from the Mason 13-yard line. Willis takes it, hands it off to Sloan, over right tackle, and a big hole. Another nice pickup from Matt Sloan. Yeah. You can tell the Mason County fans, the, the Irish kind of went out of their cell over there. They, they thought they had this game in hand, and now you, they, seven four. you can now hear a peep on the other sideline. Prestonburg fans all on their feet, jumping up and down. They can smell blood right now. So it's second and four from, from the Mason seven-yard line. So Matt Sloan picked up six yards on that carry. Fannin gets it again over the right side. Breaking tackles again. And on the he's inside the five. Gilbert on the tackle. Let's see where they spot the ball. It's going to be close to a first down. I think it's going to be, bring up third and a short one. Yes, yeah, so they spotted on the five yard line. It's third and two from that point. We're just hoping to see some of the game on our end tonight. <laughs> the entire game's been played at the far end of the field. Willis under center. Here's to Sloan, and he's hit in the backfield for a loss. Sweet. Ready to tackle. Yeah. Right, he might have lost a yard on that because he didn't, he didn't look like he had Ball anything there. Play. Yeah, it's the ball back at the six now. It'll be fourth and three for the Black Cats at the Mason County six-yard line. They're going to go for it. Prestonsburg leading it 10 to six. We're down now to three minutes and 12 seconds to go in the third quarter. Willis under center. We've got Fannin, Tony White, and Matt Sloan in the backfield. Here's a pitch to Sloan over the left side. He's in, he's Cuts in, he's up in, he's in. Touchdown, Prestonsburg. <laughs> and the Black Cats go up 16 to six. Touchdown. Nice play call, Ken. Mason County in a goal line defense had anything from the tackle to tackle closed down. Coach Grosset and his staff see that, give a tall sweep with two lead blockers out there slow. Good job that time by both lead blockers as they kicked out both Mason County defenders and Sloan had a alley to run through that I could stick my truck in. <laughs> we can drive this motor home through that hole. <laughs> And Prestonburg will go for two. Willis under center. That's it's an end around the Spriggs, and he walks us in. Two-point conversion good. It's now Prestonburg, 18, Mason County, 6. And we talked about it here at halftime. What a strong second half team Prestonburg has been all year. And they just totally dominated this third quarter. Scoring 18 unanswered points. One more, Ken, and the Prestonburg faithful can get their reservations next week for next Friday at 4 o'clock in Louisville, Kentucky. Don't write off Mason County yet. They're so explosive that they could come back any time with a big play because they're so athletic. So Prestonburg's playing awful good right now, but they've got to guard against the one thing that they could, they, a big play that could bring Mason County back quick. And right, we saw that a few minutes ago with this great team speed Mason County has as uh, Myrick had a, uh, ran down the sideline about 80 yards and just happened to step out of bounds, get pushed out of bounds, or uh, it would have been a good touchdown. I told my good buddies at halftime up here, Robbie Williams, Williams Tax in the county, I said, if Prestonburg's within a touchdown or tied up in fourth quarter, we're going to the carpet. And here's a kick. Oh, 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 oh. And it's oh. on the ground. No, nah, I think they got it. Mason County recovers it. I don't need to tuck it and head off. 
<laughs> made him tap dance around it anyway. Yes, he did. Yeah, that's going to give Mason County good field position. I call him Yes, Mason County first and 10 from their own 40. Dustin Grutza opens up in the shotgun this time. And the receivers spread out everywhere. Three to the right, two to the left. And now Mason County calling a timeout. Their second timeout of the half. So we'll kick it back to the station. 2.52 to go in the third quarter. Prestonsburg, 18, Mason County, 6 on the Intermountain Sports Network. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, social security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Mason County in the shotgun. 2.52 to go here in the third quarter. Prestonsburg leading 18 to 6. Lonesome polecat. And Grusa throws it out here on the right, and it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of T. Commodore. Commodore, incomplete. I think he heard footsteps that time again. I think he did. I think it was Sloan. <laughs> he saw <laughs> Myrick get knocked from his numbers out of bounds, and he heard him coming. So second and 10 now for the Royals of Mason County. First, second and 10 from their own 40 yard line. Boots are once again in the shotgun. He takes the snap and throws it out here in the right flat and here's Double a pass, pass down the field. Shifted. Oh! And Andrew Howell almost had his second interception of the game. Like an old play I used to run up there. Uh, it's how Floyd we used to call it Levi Garrett. <laughs> Levi Garrett, huh? We throw a double pass out there. And, and they're in the lonesome, what they call lonesome polecat. They've got spread out. Only one they got in is their guards and their center. And they've got everybody else spread out. It kind of gives a deceiving look because one lineman, their tackle, is out here standing. It's flanked out 10 yards from their guard. And it's third and 10 now for Mason County. And it's a high snap. He fakes it to the left. Now rolls back to the, goes to the left. Throws it deep down the field for Myrick and just out of his reach. As Myrick had a step on his man. That's how close it could have been, 18 to 12. Very close. But you got to complete them. And maybe Prestonburg maybe next time won't get beat like that. As it's fourth and ten now. And yeah, looks like Mason County in punt formation. But their quarterback is the up back, so watch out. And they do snap it to the quarterback. Passes it over the middle, incomplete. And flags coming in. Well, I think they did tip one of the uh, Mason County players after the ball landing, but I mean, there was no, no hard hitting. What? The thing about it is, you know, when they run that formation, I'm sure the penalty is going to be pass interference. But the thing about it is when they come off the line like that, you really don't know. You think they're going down for a pass. So first thing that you, that you've been taught is that you, you go ahead and block that man. Now, the one thing these referees got to realize is that that ball's uncatchable. Now, there's no such thing as an uncatchable ball in high school, but you got to use some common sense out there in those striped shirts. And the ball was thrown 10 yards over the receiver's head. There's the ball now at the Prestonsburg 45-yard line. First and 10, Mason County, a big break for the Royals. Kutza under center. Oh, 
And over the left side, it goes. Gilbert, on the, Gilbert on the carry. Not a whole lot there. As official got hit again. And another official down. As Gilbert gets down across the 40, looks like. Pick up a five or six yards on the carry. And for the second time here in this third quarter, we've got an injured official now. 2.25 to go here in the third quarter. Preston's been leading 18 to 6. Yeah, it looks like this could, could be a while, so we're going to kick it back to the station, give our sponsors some time, and we'll be right back. 2.25 to go in the third quarter. It's state semifinal action. The Prestonsburg Blackcats, 18, Mason County, 6, on the Intermountain Sports Network. Back to school time is here, and that means it's time to save with Gearheart's back to school promotions. For a limited time, get super fast broadband internet starting at only $39.99 per month. Let us help you find the perfect internet package to suit your family's needs and get school started right. Streaming, surfing, gaming, and more. We have you covered. Find out more at imctv.com or give us a call at 606 478 9406 to get started. Remember, better broadband means better lives. My family means everything, and I'll do whatever it takes to make sure they're safe in our home. I started with this, a whole home security system with 24-7 monitoring. We control our system from anywhere, and wherever I am, I can see my family's okay. You do anything to protect your family. Start with this, a smart home security system from Gearheart Security. Call or visit GearheartSecurity.com to learn more. Second down and four now for Mason County after a six yard pickup by Matt Gilbert, the fullback. Ball spotted at the Prestonsburg 39 yard line. <laughs> 225 to go in the third quarter. This is a big drive here for Mason County. Yeah, I tell you what, they're, you know, they're not out of this ball game by no means. Groups are in the shotgun. Takes the snap, gives it to Gilbert again at the middle. And he gets down to the 37 yard line. A couple of yards short of the first down. Bring up a third and two. Third and two from the Prestonsburg 37 yard line for Mason County. Dutzer comes out in the shotgun. Matt Gilbert, the fullback, in the backfield with him. Dutzer takes the snap, fires it out in the left flat. It's caught. It's Nicholas Jamerson right there to take him down, but it is a first down. As the ball complete down at the 30, well, at the 30, 30 yard line. So first and 10, Mason County from the Prestonsburg 30 as they're driving. Grutzer comes out in the shotgun once again. Matt Gilbert in the backfield with him. He takes it, goes to the right, pitches it to Gilbert now on the option. He's down across the 25 and brought down up the 23 yard line. Pick up the seven on the play. Tackle made by Andrew Howell. Nice tackle. Good job by Mason that time. They ran the option out of this out of shotgun with Gilbert being the pitch man. And uh, tell you what, it's, it's, this is going to be an interesting series of downs here. If Preston Burke can stop Mason, they'll be controlling the ball game. If they don't, Mason gets a touchdown here. They're right back in it. Second and three. And here's the handoff over the left side. And it for a loss is... The speedster, Nathan Myrick. He is yet to get turned loose tonight, and that's a credit to Prestonburg defense. He is ball back now at the 24 yard line. Well, this is a pass, Ken. This is probably going to be the last play of the third quarter. Down now to 19 seconds. Third and four, Mason County from the Prestonburg 24 yard line. Good side under center. 
He's got the eye formation behind him. He takes it. He's back to pass, and Tony White's got him. He's down. Back at the 35-yard line. What a job by Tony White. And that defense is in position. That's a great play. I always told you they can't throw it off the back. <laughs> and that's going to wrap up the third quarter. So at the end of three, your score, Prestonsburg 18, Mason County 6 on the Intermountain Sports Network. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're going to enjoy every minute of it. You two come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us, Tom. You got to decide for yourself who you're going to be. The Bellator K has landed. More than ever, life is full of change. And sometimes change is good. Same with your cable package. By upgrading to streaming with Gearheart TV, you get a ton of features and content. That's entertainment for everyone, no matter what they watch or how they do it. Change doesn't have to be a challenge either. Streaming with Gearheart TV is easy to use on the devices you already have. Ready for change? Contact Gearheart TV and make the switch to streaming today. Good. Danny High School ready to start the fourth quarter. At the end of three, it's Prestonsburg 18 to six over Mason County. The winner to advance to Louisville next week for the state championship game. It's a big fourth down and 14 here for Mason County. Groups that takes the snap from the shotgun and the play whistle dead. Right, dead ball. Some kind of illegal movement. No play. And we're awaiting the signal. All sides, Mason, All sides, Mason County. They'll back it up five more yards and leave Mason County now with a fourth and 19. Back at the Prestonsburg 40. Prestonsburg can't give up any kind of deep route right here. They just let them catch the ball in front of the first down marker and then make the tackle, make the sure tackle. It's in the shotgun. He takes the snap. He's got time, fires it deep over the middle. It's caught. And complete out there to Josh Sato. One thing they couldn't allow happen, happened. They got Prestonburg flanked down on the wings and could not get any help down the middle of the field. So, a good tough break for the Black Cats there. And that's a big play for Mason County. Fourth and 19. And they pick up 27 yards on the play. First and 10 now from the Prestonsburg 13. Good to under center. Now formation behind him. And he hands it off to Gilbert over the left side. Gilbert yeah. breaks the tackle and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Mason County. And it's now 18 to 12. And what a big play on that previous play. Fourth and 19 and come up with a 27 yard gain. Kind of broke the momentum Preston Burke had established here. They, they established that they had done nothing wrong the second half and then they give up the short play right there. And the extra point attempt up. And it's good. So your score with 11.44 to go now in the ball game is Prestonsburg 18, Mason County 13. We'll keep it right here. And I'll tell you, Donnie, this is quite a ball game. Well, we knew coming in that it would be that uh, Mason County with the fine ball cover that they had would not just roll over for Prestonburg to come in here. On the other hand, Prestonburg has to come out here and establish the running game right now. They have to take about seven or eight minutes off this clock and take the ball and put it in the end zone or come up with some kind of points. And that would, that would assure them that they could do no worse than a tie. As Mason County prepares to kick off. One thing that you've got to guard against right here is Mason County is known to kick the ball short. And if they kick the ball short here, Mike Pressburg's got to make sure that they get on it. 
is Bill Van Hook will do the kicking. Van Hook, the one that just kicked the extra point. And we're starting to feel the rain. And I don't know, Mason County coach out here in the middle of the field talking to the officials. Yeah. I think if well, the officials come good. back, I think you guys sense is back, so he's come back in. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Van Hook tees up the ball. Austin Clark, Chris Jervis. Kevin Jones back deep for Preston's Bowl. Chris Pridge one of the up backs. And Van Hook kicks it deep this time. It'll be Austin Clark taking it. And he brings it over the middle of the field. He's got some room there. Steps down. And we've seen that happen several times tonight. But you get good field position. Preston Bird's going to have good field position somewhere around the 37, 38 yard line there, Ken. So it's a good drive to start and a good drive. You can start there and have a good consuming drive right here. Take up some of the clock. Yeah, that's what the Black Cats need. It is first and 10 from the 37 yard line. Preston's Bird's on 37. 11.39 to go in the ball game. It's 18 to 13. Preston's Bird leading. As Willis comes out under center. And here's a handoff to Phantom, breaking it to the outside, going around the left side and brought down. I go on the Let's see where they're going to spot the ball. You can feel no game. You can feel the tension in the air. The Prestonburg, knowing that they had the ball game in hand, now they're unsure of what they got. Mason County's starting to get behind their team. Their home field is taking advantage for them right here. As well as takes it. Hand off to Matt Sloan and not much there. Mason County defense really fired up now. And Prestonsburg looking at third and one now. And Sloan picked up three yards on the play. It'll be third and seven. Big down for Prestonburg here. They need to go ahead and pick this first down up in the worst way. Willis under center. He takes the snap, pushes it back to Sloan. Sloan can't get freed up, and he'll be held up short. It's going to be a fourth and long for the Black Cats. Pressenberg needs a good punt here from Neely. As Neely boots it away, it's taken back at the 35, and Kevin Jervis back with a great tackle. Got flagged down on the field. Nicholas Jamerson also back with him. Good job by Jervis and Jamerson. Back at the 24-yard line. Personal foul against personal foul against Mason County, and if that's the case, then Mason County has gave Prestonburg the biggest break of the night as Prestonburg will have a first down in their own territory. Now, if it's a dead ball personal foul, then they will maintain possession. But if it's a live ball, first down, it's, it'll be a first down for Prestonburg if that happened during the, ex, before the exchange. But they're talking with Mason County, like the penalty could be against Prestonburg. I don't know. Yeah, they're backing it up. So he's going to mark it off against Prestonsburg. Yeah, make him punt it again. Yeah. 
all the way back at the 25-yard line. Indicated that it was against Mason County. And Neely back to punt to officials stop play here. Neely takes it, gets it off. The short kick, but very high. Grab it, grab it, boys, grab it, boys. Ooh, I got lucky there because that ball's still alive. And it's like it's going to be spotted on the 40 yard line. So Mason County, excellent field position. They'll take over first and 10 on their own 40. They're trailing 18 to 13 with 9.23 to go in the ball game. Can we have one more turnover? I think that's what we need. They know the big turnover here and not let Mason County get any more momentum that they've already had. Dustin Goats are under center. High formation behind him. He takes it. This is a Tamari. One to the outside. Spriggs hits him in. Then he's brought down. Matt Sloan and Andrew Howell in on the tackle. And Spriggs dove and yeah, hit him around the ankles. He kept his footing, but slowed him up enough for Sloan and Howell to bring him down. Pick up with only two on the carry for Myrick. Second and eight. From their own 42 for Mason County. Groots are under center. Commodore goes in motion. Here's the pitch to Myrick, fakes the end around. He keeps it around the left side, and Jamerson pulls him down. Good yeah, tackle out there. Oh, that flag back here looks like a hold. So that's going to bring, that's a big play because Mason County had the first down on about the midfield stripe. Now they're going to have it second and 17 from about the third or 25 yard line, Ken. Big, big play. Big break for the Blackcats. Again, Prestonburg cannot give up the long pass here. Make sure that the ball's caught and tackled right there and give up the short stuff, but don't give anything deep up. Second and 24. Roots on in the shotgun this time. Throws it quickly out in the left. And not much there. As it's caught out there by Chris Lofton, Chris Briggs, Nicholas Jamerson. Right there on the spot to bring him down. So he gets out to the 27-yard line. One yard pickup. Hey, well, you can afford to give those up when it's second and 24. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They'll take two or three more of them. Third and 23 now. If they can stop this right here, that force Mason County to have to punt. And that's the biggest thing Prestonburg could do right here is make them punt. Wonder if come with pressure right here on the young center. Looks uh, in trouble. He floats it out over the middle. It's caught. That's Myrick, and he's not going anywhere. Good job. Matt Sloan hit him first to slow him up. Unable to bring him down, but uh, he's finished off there. Rudy Pennington out there on the tackle. Kevin Jonas, it looks like. Andrew Howell, that is. One thing that Prestonburg has got to be aware of, they faked this last time and got an interference call, and it's fourth down and long again. So they don't want this to happen to them. Fourth and 15. And yeah, they do snap it to the punter this time. He kicks it away. They're just going to let it hit, too, and bounce. And yeah, it takes a good roll for Mason County. So Preston's man will take over, deep in their own territory. With 6.53 to go in the ball game. It's 18 to 13. Preston's man leading. Tell you 
what, need two good first downs right here. Keep the clock going. At least have two. They've got to have at least two first downs here to keep uh, keep the clock running, Ken, because Mason County is down to one timeout, all they have left. Right, right. They've had to use two of their timeouts, which could cost them dearly here near the end of this game. There's a ball on the 20-yard line, first and 10, Black Cats. And here's Sloan with it over the left side. And he has a fine run. Oh, oh, and we've got a light flag coming in. If this is against right, Prestonburg, we're killing ourselves. They're all on the battle. Evidently, another personal foul against the Black Cats. I mean, they just, they, they, they've got to, they're killing themselves. Song picks up seven and eight yards, and all they have to do is just maintain their block, and they're killing, they're, they're going to put themselves now in first and about uh, 15. So they just, they first dug themselves at home. They, they had it second and one, and that's all they needed. So first and 11 from their own 19 for the Black Cats. Willis under center. And hands it to Fannin. He cuts it back. He's up the middle, middle, breaks a couple of tackles. He's going to the 30, and we've got a flagrant face mask. What a run by Michael Fannin. And now Fannin's going to get a personal foul as he's taunting the crowd over there at Mason County, and another flag comes in. You, just, you can't do that. I mean, it, 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 this is going to nullify. This is going to nullify a 15-yard penalty that Mason County was going to have. Right. And you just can't do that kind of stuff. I mean, it, six minutes and 25 seconds away from the carpet in Louisville, and uh, don't, don't do those mistakes. So Preston Brown just, just shoot yourself in the foot with these penalties here, and if they could just you know go ahead and play out the game, they'd be fine. So it's first and ten for the Black Cats. Ball out at the 41 yard line. A 22 yard pickup by Fannin on that carry. Great carry by the young man. Willis under center. And yeah, Sloan trying to get out to the outside around the rock. And he's hit three times before he's finally brought down, driven out of bounds. A great run there by Matt Sloan. What a season this young man has had. Had over 2,100 yards rushing on the season coming into tonight. Westenberg can maintain this kind of drive. This is a fourth quarter. This is when they excel right here. This is when they should excel. And if they can keep their composure, and just drive it down the field and put this in the end zone, this ball game's over. So they've got a first and 10 now from the Mason County 37-yard line. Willis under center. And Fannin gets a handoff up the middle. Not much there this time. Six minutes to go now in the ball game. Prestonsburg leading it 18 to 13. There's no gain on the play. It's second and ten for the Black Cats. Prestonburg can't be content to just run the clock here. They've got to try to put some kind of mixture into their offense to get the first down. Willis under center. And he takes it. Gives it to Spriggs on the end of the round, going around the left side. And Myrick cuts him off out there. Good job, Myrick, staying at home that time. He stayed, he stayed, stayed right there. So no gain from Prestonburg, so that's going to bring up a uh, third down and about seven. It's going to be interesting to see when Mason County has to use the one timeout. Prestonburg, if they get a first down right here. 
And here we come. Joey Willis under center. Third and seven, Black Cats. He takes it. He gives it to Sean. He breaks a tackle over the middle. Still on his feet. And he's inside the 20. First down, Prestonsburg. We talked about Myrick earlier, not wrapping Myrick up, Prestonsburg. Not. That's a good sign or a good example. The same thing happened to Mason County. Hit Sloan right at the line of scrimmage. Sloan's so strong. He just puts his head down and gets the extra yardage for the first down. Yeah, they start it now right on the 20 yard line. Four and a half minutes to go in the game. The clock running. Prestonsburg leading 18 to 13 and driving once again. First and 10. Willis under center. And flags come in. Could have a delay of game. That's the one thing Prestonburg didn't want happening. Is it a delay a game in this situation? Clock still continues to run here. 4.14 to go for the other game. First and 15 now from the 25. Willis takes it. Give it again to Sloan, and he's wrapped up right at the line of scrimmage. Got one yard down to the 24. It'll be second and four, second and 14. Clock running now, 3.53 to go. Be a good chance for Fannin. Fannin has carried the ball the last couple of times. Maybe give Sloan a break right here and give the ball to Fannin up the middle. Willis. Takes the snap, pitches it to Sloan. Sloan cuts it back up the middle, breaking tackles inside the 15, still on his feet, inside the 10. We got a flag. And a flag comes in. And what a run by Matt Sloan, just unbelievable. He's going to have a holding on Prestonburg, blocking below and, the waist. And once again, it was uh, uh, 10 yards behind Matt Sloan. He's already through the line of scrimmage. There's uh, no, no need for it. No, there's no need to whatsoever. One, you don't need to do it from a Prestonburg standpoint. Two, official should let that play go. That, that flag has no business being thrown. The, ball, the ball's already down here at the 10-yard line, so why did they go ahead and take it back to the 25? Mark it back all the way to the 40. That's, that, that hurts from the standpoint of picking up first down. You still got three downs, but now that allows Mason County to use their timeout effectively. Yes, it's second and 30 now for Preston's Burn. Back at the 40 yard line. Ellis takes it. Gives it to Fannin over the right side. And he's pulled down from behind. Good job staying in bounds. Fannin stayed in bounds. Let the clock continue to run. Brought down at the 35. Gain of five on the play. And it's going to leave the Black Cats with a third and 25 now. Always excitement in playoffs. Absolutely. 18 to 13, Prestonsburg leading 235 to go in the ball game. The clock running, Prestonsburg facing third and 25. Willis under center, takes it. Gives it to Spriggs on the end of the round once again. And once again, Myrick stays home and brings it down. And that's not Myrick, this time it was Chris Lofton on the tackle. Well, what do you do now, Coach Daniels? Well, I think you to go ahead and take your delay a game, and then you punt it. Ball spotted right on the 30-yard line. 20 yards to go to pick up the first down. It's fourth and 20. Exactly two minutes to go in the ball game now. Like I said, Mason County with only one timeout remain remaining. And now Joey Willis of Prestonsburg calls a timeout. That yeah, stops the clock with 1.51 to go. We'll kick it back to the station for a short break. It's Prestonsburg 18, Mason County 13 on the Intermountain Sports Network. Not everyone gets this excited when they discover the joy of Gearheart TV. But it happens. 
It's kind of a thrill to see every channel in HD. Go back in time with Replay and Restart TV. Record to the cloud and watch TV everywhere on any device with no set top box. Your excitement may vary, but there's a lot to cheer about Gearhart TV. Available now. Visit mygtv.com now to sign up. County High School, we've got one minute, 51 seconds remaining in the ball game. Prestonsburg leading Mason County, 18 to 13, and the Prestonsburg Blackcats facing a fourth down and 20 from the 30-yard line. Yeah, it looks like they're lining up to go for it. I think maybe Coach Ross is just going to try to run this run Sloan out here. And he gives it to Sloan. Sloan cuts it back up the middle, and There's he's flag. right down. He's got a flag down. Could be a face mask. Sloan gets down to the 23-yard line, pick up a seven on the play. And we'll wait and see what the oh, flag is. Holding, holding against Preston's Burton decline. So Mason County takes over first and 10 at their own 23 yard line with one minute, 45 seconds to go. And the Royals of Mason County had only one timeout remaining. As Dustin Gutzer lines up in the shotgun. He receives his wide each side. It's a high snap, he's back. He's got a lot of time. Fires it out over the middle and in and out of the hands of Josh Sado. Sado, the receiver that caught the, caught the big pass earlier, the big 27 yard reception on fourth and 19. Mason County trying to work the middle field. The clock stops on first downs in high school at college, but uh, they're just trying to work, they're working the middle of the field, trying to make sure that they get enough for the first down. Second and 10 now. Gutzel once again in the shotgun, 139 to go. He takes it, rolls out to the right. And Tony White's after him. Now he's coming back to the left. There's Rudy Pennington, and he throws it deep down field. And is it caught incomplete? Now it's almost brought in there by Chris Lofton. Yeah, good coverage back there. Nicholas Jamerson and who that was Chris Jones. That was John Hunt back there on the coverage. Good job by the Black Cat secondary. As Gutes are running around, had a lot of time to throw. It's third and 10 now for Mason County from their own 23. Prestonburg needs a good stop right here. Another incompletion or a sack. And Gutes are back. He fires it over the middle. Here's the pitch off. Chris Briggs. He's in front of the ball. He's he doubled. The ball on the ground. I don't know who got it. I and think. I believe Mason County may have it. Mason they County. They do. Just go down. But it's back at the eight-yard line. As a foul interception by Chris Briggs. It's going to be first down again for Mason County. All he has to do is go down, just go down, and that, the ball game's over. It's over. You just take a knee a couple of times, and it's over. So Mason County first and 10 back at their own eight-yard line now. One fifteen to go in the ball game. The winner advances to the state championship game next Friday at 4 o'clock in Louisville, Kentucky. Boots are in the shotgun, standing back around his two-yard line. Here's the snap. He's back in the end zone. Fires it deep over the middle. Incomplete and almost picked off. Matt Sloan had a shot at it. Intended for Sado. 
It'll be second and 10 from the eight yard line. I thought Sloan had a shot at it, getting it that time and taking it to the, just intercepting it. He's playing the receiver and still playing the ball. And uh, God, that was close. Pittsburgh's had numerous chances just to end this. 110 remaining now in the ball game. Gucci comes out in the shotgun. He takes the snap, throws it quickly, overthrows his man, and incomplete intended for Chris Lofton. He's drilled out there by Nicholas Jamerson. Lofton is down. Good shot by Jamerson, and he just clean, good football. It'll be third and 10 now for Mason County. And the winner of this game will take on the winner of Bardstown and Glasgow. And I don't know, did you get a score on that at halftime, Donnie? You heard couldn't, of the couldn't get any score. The only score I got, the one I didn't want here, was the pace for was down 41 to nothing. And that was still with about seven minutes to go in the first half. So uh, Newport Catholic really rolling. Yeah, you just, you know, I never thought that painful. But, you know, Berlin Master and his teams had such a great year. I mean, they, they, they've changed their season around, and, uh, you know, from about midway through the, halfway through the season, they took, a, took it and uh, ran with it. And, heck, you know, t hats off to the Paintsville Tigers. Absolutely. One minute, six seconds remaining in the game. Yeah, it looks like this could take a while. We'll kick it back to the station and uh, your score, Prestonsburg 18, Mason County 13 in the state semifinal game here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Mason County now facing a third and 10 from their own eight yard line with only one minute, six seconds to go in the ball game. Kutza comes out in the shotgun. Good big play coming up. 18 to 13, Prestonsburg leads it. Here's the snap. Kutza back in his own end zone. Tony Watts after him. He gets out and he's gonna run with it. He's out to the 10, that he's throws over the line of scrimmage. He's way over the line of scrimmage, and he's over the line of scrimmage right here. And the yeah, he's, he's, he's way over. Dropped the bean bag. Yeah, he's got he's it right there. Yeah, That's gonna be a loss of down. Right, two, two to three yards past the line of scrimmage. That's yeah, the first play we ain't seen on Pilsenberg this half. Yes, it is. And I thought he was going to take off and run with it. Could have picked up the first down. Yeah, because he was he broke containment. Uh, Prestonburg got after him real good, and he broke containment, Ken, and uh, you know got out. And, but he's it's going to be a five-yard penalty, half the distance to go line, and he's going to lose down, which brings up fourth down for the Blackcats. Well, they actually give him a three-yard penalty. The ball was on the eight-yard line, and they, they take it back three yards. <laughs> So I gave it from the spot of the foul. Should have been from the line of scrimmage. He could have ran down to the 20, and they would have just backed it up to the 10. So. But uh, big fourth and 13. Gutsa back in his end zone in the shotgun. And this could be the ball game. He's back. He's got some time. Now he's running out of time, scrambling. And he's drilled from behind Brent Brooks. That's it, and that's the ball game as Prestonsburg will take over at the Mason County five-yard line with 49 seconds to go. Mason County with only one timeout remaining. And what a hit. Brant Brooks came in from behind and just drilled Brooks to the ground. All Prestonburg does do now is just take a knee. There's one time. One timeout, all Mason County has left. They can't stop it, so it's over now. And 
I told you, who told you the first year at the Paintsville game? Where would Prestonburg be going? Donnie Davis said after that first game, said Prestonburg will be on the carpet this year. As Willis takes it, takes a knee, and they'll have to run one more play. And one more play should do it. Congratulations to Coach John DeRossett and the Prestonsburg Black Cats as they advance on to the state championship game in Louisville next Friday afternoon. Willis under center takes the snap and takes the knee. And it's over. What a win for the Black Cats of Prestonsburg, 18 to 13. As the Black Cat fans storm the field. Tell you what, have you predicted this? Week one, Donnie. Yeah, I tell you what, it's it's hard to see a team play as hard as Mason County did. And to go and see that they had a great year. But hats off to John DeRossett and the Prestonburg Black Cats. When Boyle County beat them last year, they made a promise that they was not going to have that same feeling again. And congratulations to him, the city of Prestonburg, his staff, and these young men out here. They'll never, ever have a feeling like this again throughout their high school career. Right, and uh, hopefully uh, they'll have this same similar feeling next Friday about uh, 6.30. Oh, God, yes. Let's hope so. It's a uh, lot of win for the Black Cats. A great second half as they came out here and uh, took over in the third quarter. Trailing six to nothing at halftime. They come back to win it, 18 to 13. We just want to tell everybody, we want to tell everybody that if they're, that, they're back at Prestonsburg, and they haven't made the trip to Maysville, that the Black Cats are coming home. Get out and see these young men when they come through the city. I'm sure the fire department, city police will have all these sirens going. Get out and congratulate these young men. Absolutely. So uh, we're going to wrap it up here on WXKZ, and uh, we're going to try to get an interview here for uh, WPRG with Coach DeRossett. So that's going to wrap us up here tonight as the Prestonsburg Black Cats advance to the state championship game next Friday to take on the winner of Glasgow and Bardstown. And congratulations, Coach John DeRossett, on a great job, you and your staff and your team, as the Black Cats win it 18-13 over Mason County here on the Intermountain Sports Network. Work. Smile, girl. Act like you like each other. This is our Chicago. Stop! We're gonna enjoy every minute of it. You two, come in or what? Hey, wake up, brother. It is payback time. It's bigger than the two of us, Tom. You gotta decide for yourself who you gonna be. The Bellator K has landed! Oh! Back to school time is here, and that means it's time to save with Gearheart's back to school promotions. For a limited time, get super fast broadband internet starting at only $39.99 per month. Let us help you find the perfect internet package to suit your family's needs and get school started right. Streaming, surfing, gaming, and more. We have you covered. Find out more at imctv.com or give us a call at 606 478 9406 to get started. Remember, better broadband means better lives. When life's unfortunate events happen, we sometimes see people at their worst. That's why we make it our goal to give them our best. If you've been involved in an auto accident, have a workers' compensation, Social Security, or SSI claim, you need an attorney with proven results. You need John Earl Hunt. I'm attorney John Earl Hunt. I believe in the U.S. Constitution, and I support the American flag. I'm a country lawyer. I'd be honored to represent you in your case. I'll treat you right. I'll do the best I can to help you. Exciting, yeah, we want to keep the fans here, you know, we don't want to leave early. Hey, see you red and black come from Prestonburg. We want to thank everybody from Floyd County, East Kentucky, come down and support this team. Hey, we're going to Louisville next week. We're going to Louisville, buddy. We're going to be right there with you. Hey, double, X, double X, double PRG, station of Black Cat. All right. How'd you feel? I had time right there on 6 to nothing. I don't think there's much left that locker room. <laughs> Not much left of it. Whatever you said at night, I'm sure it worked. Well, they came out and they've done it all season. They've been real strong in the second half all season. But well, we got a great bunch of kids in that time. We just told them that we don't have to stop this thing now, and I challenged my city. Every time we come to Central Kentucky up here on the river, up north, 
we get our butt beat. And I said, if you do that tonight, you're going to take a back seat to these people the rest of your life. And I said, I'm not taking a back seat to them. And I think we left them alone for about five minutes. And I said, you got to decide right now if you're going to just be an old hillbilly from East Kentucky and let them put you down all the time and be their whipping boy. I think we come out the second half and we decided we weren't going to be their whipping boy. We were physical. We knew they were a lot faster than us all week long. And what we asked our kids to do is be physical and hit them. And then they'd come out in the end. And sure enough, we were really physical. And I think late in the game, I took us home on Mason County. I think that's one way to do it. So physical. Uh, congratulations, Coach. Yeah, I appreciate and, uh, that. That's going to wrap us up here. This is Ken Hall with my hero, John DeRoff. <laughs>